Hey, we are on. Good morning. Welcome to the Cheap Seats on 96.3 FM, streaming live on the web at WLCNOnline.com. Scott Kirby, Joe Ryan with you today in front of Country Financial. Joe Ryan, Country Financials. Nice down here. It is. It? Beautiful yes, building. Nice is. day. New I landscaping did. we got going on down yeah. here. Really? Pretty nice. Yeah. Look at this. This is I mean, nice, this. Joe. Last this year at nice. this time, remember, it was all torn up? Yeah, we were yeah. sitting out there in rubble. You guys are all scared. Now look how nice it is. Yeah, and thanks to you. I'm sure you're out here pruning the trees. Thanks to somebody's tax dollars. <laughs> Grants, aids. <laughs> That's right. Uh, we do have Caitlin Hasbury with us this morning. Good morning, Caitlin. Morning. Thank you for having me. Caitlin, a senior at uh, Lincoln Community High School. A, uh, I don't know, uh, elite golfer, should elite? we say? One of the elite. I don't think you can call me oh, elite okay. yet. Well, she is Eastern Illinois bound to play mm -hmm. some golf over there. Uh very exciting yeah absolutely uh just about done with high school yep got a couple weeks left a couple weeks left uh kind of went pretty fast didn't it oh yeah you could say that <laughs> now you got to prepare for the next step which is college uh tell us what you've uh, been up to since the season's been over and uh kind of what your future plans are from now until i don't know when you're, you're going to leave for college but uh just tell us what uh, what's been going on well, this winter I was out at the bowling alley where they have, you know, the golf simulators and I was practicing for the last four or five months before it got warm outside. Now I'm outside uh, playing, been out there with my dad and his friends a lot. <laughs> and uh, last... Should we talk about those guys for a while? Oh, no. No, no okay, we good. don't have to. <laughs> last Wednesday I signed with Eastern Illinois um, and now... I'm just waiting to graduate, and this summer I'm going to be out there playing a lot of tournaments. And then once I start school, I'll jump right into the golf season. And we have about, I think, four or five big tournaments that are outside of Illinois, kind of in the Midwest area. And then we take a break for winter, and then we play some more next spring. Where, where do you get to go play? Do you know some of the, like, the cool places you'll get to play when you're at Eastern? Uh, golf course there's two golf courses up there, uh, one in Mattoon which is about 20 minutes away, and uh, I don't know what the other one is, but there's one, the one in Mattoon is supposed to be really hard, like a really tough, good practice course, and we play a tournament or two up there, I think. So what can you go out here to the Elks and shoot on a regular basis? Uh, just starting now, like when I went <laughs> well, out. Well, I started yesterday. I'll tell you my school, <laughs> and you tell me yours. Yeah, I'm pretty Hers sure mine was worse. Hers probably half of yours. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, when I, our, my first time out here this year, I shot an 85, and that wasn't really how I wanted to start, but it's okay. <laughs> That's exactly half of your <laughs> score. That's funny. That's not exactly the way she wanted to start. No, the best I've ever shot is an 83. Uh, yesterday I went out and shot a cool 100 on my first day out. Oh, okay. Yeah, not bad, huh? No, not too bad. Wasn't yesterday Friday? <sighs> yes, it was. I went after work. Oh. You know, so it was a whole long day. So you can go golfing at 4 o'clock. Mm -hmm. The golf course opens up at 11? I don't think it's open before then. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I do work all day. Okay, I just I, I gotta blow you soon. Yeah. Hey, so what's the what's the most difficult part of your game that you're gonna have to work on? What's your worst part of your game you're gonna have to work on? I would say hitting all my greens in regulation and then being able to make uh, my putts for birdie. So that's probably what I need to work on the most. Uh, mentally, I could still use some improvement there. Kind of gets to me sometimes whenever I get down in a rut. Got I got to be able to get out and you know just keep playing, keep my mentality positive and. Yeah, the, the wheels come off. That's what I always yeah. say. <laughs> you're playing along. You're doing okay. One out of bounds, and the next thing you know, you're missing putts. You're yeah. Especially when I'm playing with my dad, because then I have him talking right next to me in my ear, telling me everything that I'm doing wrong. <laughs> that I need to improve on. Oh, wait a minute. How does he know what you're doing wrong? <laughs> I don't. He doesn't because he's over in the trees with me half the time. I don't know. <laughs> well, he's trying to show you what not to do. <laughs> yeah. And you need to know how to get out of that trouble, which is where I could come in and help because mm -hmm. I've been in all kinds of places trying to hit a golf ball. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I could help me you with too. that. Small fee. I'll charge it to your dad. Okay. Some, some free bowling alley spins or something. Sure, yeah. Now, what what uh, kind of steps do you have to take now? Does uh, your 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 future coach uh, is it mike monsell mike monsell yeah monsell what does he uh want you to work on and you know how does he i guess what i'm trying to say how does he know how did you get recruited by him is it just like does he come and scout you or you kind of 
put the a little bird in his ear saying yeah, I like to come here and, and I uh, I have a athletic recruiting site that like attracts schools that are around my level and everything that I want and one day an email from him popped up and it was like I'm coach at Eastern we're trying to rebuild our program I'd like to you to come in and talk to me about you know what we could do for you and how Eastern can be the best choice for you so I came in had a meeting with him and he's a very knowledgeable golfer. He's worked on the PGA. He's been a coach for over 25 years. And he's been, really, he's been around the block. So I really think that he's gonna help me take my game to the next level and really help me get to where I need to be. So just this summer, he told me, you know, get out there, play some tournaments. When you come into the fall, don't be too nervous. I know it's a, a different situation because I'll, obviously I'll be on my own now. And he said, just, you know, take it easy and we'll get you to where you need to be. Now, does uh, you go in there, is their, I guess their golf season, is it spring or fall or it's, is it both? It's both, yeah. It's mostly, it's mostly in the fall, but there's still tournaments in the spring. Is that a, when you, so let's talk about that for a second. When you go to those tournaments and all that, what, what are you trying to do? Just, is he going to give you certain things to work on? like your game you want to end up somewhere well it'll be different being on a team with people who are right at my level and being out there and competing with people who are probably going to be above what i can do coming in as a freshman sure. so my freshman year uh the opportunity to play um is just is all i'm looking for and when i'm out at those tournaments really i'm just trying to prove that i can be a part of the team and Things that I could work on probably would address after I play, because it could be anything that day. I don't, I don't know what needs work. So you call them? Would you call yourself starters when you make that team that travels and goes? Is there six of you? There's, I don't know how many. I think there's nine or ten on the team right now, and the top six go, um, I'll go and play the next tournament, and they have qualifying rounds for in practice for who the top six will be for the next tournament. So every that's done then on some type of weekly basis yeah. or something. Who's going to go? Yeah, that's interesting. So you could make this make starting lineup at any given time. Huh? Yeah, also yeah. be taken off of it. But yep, depends on how you play. Well, that's good. Now, how does that? Uh, how do they determine? Uh, you may not know this. How do they determine who goes to the next event? Because if you're not in the previous tournament, how do they judge if you know if you're going to make the next? Uh, the the practice that we have after our tournament because we have a tournament that's three days long and then we have you know four days to practice again we spend two days doing a 18 hole well 36 hole qualifying match okay. so the top scores coming in from everyone right. are the ones who get to go next time Kay. and we haven't discussed what you want to be when you graduate from college besides a professional golfer <laughs> not a professional golfer I majoring in a bowling alley no not that own a golf course no you look you're probably going to major <laughs> in i'd say biology yep yeah is that what you were in uh, i just no no it says right here in the article. <laughs> <laughs> yeah biology on a pre-med track is what i'm wow looking for so what 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 does biology consist of i mean that's a pretty broad area of like a do you know joe like if oh, you want to be a biology major, i'm looking i'm looking at lloyd what do you want to be when you grow up I want to be a pediatrician or a pediatric surgeon. I don't know oh, wow. exactly what field I want to go into. I think surgery, but then I don't know what, what yeah. rotation. <laughs> so you want to golf on Thursdays? Yeah. <laughs> well, if you want to golf all the time, you should open up your own insurance financial Now, shop. see, I want to back up just a second. Didn't we just talk about my score? Yeah, that's So how could I be golfing all the time? I, if I just <laughs> went over here and said, oh, I shot an 81, I think well, we'd say, well, he golfs all the time. You're just a horrible like, athlete. 100? Holy cow. Well, you, at least you got your money's worth. Yeah. That's what I tell people. Sore today. I got my money's <laughs> worth when I go out to a golf course, you know, get so, my so money's you, worth. You get all these brains from uh, your mom's side of the family then, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. And your good <laughs> oh, looks. Oh, wow. Right? Yeah. And we Probably. know your dad's listening, right? Yeah. yeah okay. My dad's so listening to sure. personality, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> maybe he like calling the show. <laughs> or maybe he like to wring your neck when he runs I'm into sure he it. wants to do that. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. All right. So you got about three weeks left of school. Uh, Going to be graduating, heading to Eastern. Uh, have you obviously been over to visit the campus? 
uh do you will you be living in dorms apartments or yeah they have well they have all dorms around the campus but i'll be in the sports apartments sports dorms for the athletes on scholarship or the athletes that are planning to play so i'll be over and yeah. that one's closer to the stadium and to all the fields and everything charleston what about a two-hour drive from here yep about two, two hours, hours and that, 15 minutes that's not too bad so whenever you need to come home it's just a yeah it's just a little drive yeah they can wire money, can't they? Yeah. Yeah, they can just dump yeah. it in accounts. You don't really have to come home <laughs> yeah. for it. Yeah. Well, she'll have laundry and stuff to bring home. I'll just take my credit card with me, and then I'll, <laughs> I'll I won't pay for the stuff. Bills go to to your home address. Yeah. Yes, Lincoln. It's a great idea. Yeah. <laughs> Works well. Yes. Well, Caitlin, uh, I'd like to thank you for coming in this morning, and uh, you know we wish you nothing but the best. And as you go throughout the summer you know we'll, we'll keep in touch and kind of follow your career and how it goes over eastern and we'll get you back on hopefully if you're not too busy you know down the road uh maybe after your first year and tell us what you think and you know it's going to be a big adjustment you know be on your yeah. own mom and dad not there over yeah. your shoulder telling you what to do <laughs> and you know so yeah, you'll have fun, and maybe we'll make you our golf experts. You can call okay. in and give us tips. Yeah, tips sure. Sure, I'll try. Thank you very much yeah. for having me, though. You're very You're welcome. welcome, and uh, congratulations to you and your family. And Grandma and Grandpa out there, I'm sure they're very proud of you. Yep. Nice job. All my family's listening right now. They're all listening? Waiting for my well, expert opinion on everything. We'll give them a shout out then to all of them out there listening. <laughs> Good people. You have a great family. Thank you. Yeah, I think so, too. That's Caitlin Hasbury. Uh and before we go, Joe, let's throw out that trivia question so people can call in. Or uh, is the tweet open? We have tweet. <laughs> the tweet is open. Who you texting? He, oh, he's all he does. He's on he's Twitter. Good. He's a tweeter. He's got the fastest thumbs in the Midwest. Lloyd's of London. Uh, who won the Masters last week? That's it's, the uh, that's easy the one. question. It's an easy one, and we like to keep them easy because if we don't, nobody will call in. My question was easier, but we're going to go with yours. Yeah, but your no, your question was pretty hard. It was easy. Three, the three members of Rush. No, when was the last time the Cubs won the World Series? No, wait, that doesn't even count. Prize? Oh, there is a prize. There is a prize. There is a prize. Thank you, Lloyd. When you win something, there's a prize there, involved. There is a, and it's a gift card to <laughs> Fifth Street. Fifth Street. Okay. Well, it's not written on here. Oh. Gotcha. It's got to be written on here. It's a gift card to Fifth Street. We're not going to tell you how much until you call in. <laughs> because it could because be you big. Don't know. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean, it, you never know. You never know. But uh, call in 737-3791 or tweet. I'm sure they're Sports. listening. They've always got on the loudspeaker. Who just there. won the Masters, 2015 Masters, and it was not Tiger Woods? I'll give you a hint. Okay. You're a good guy. Phone's not ringing, so we'll take a break. Stay tuned. You're in the cheap seats on 96. <laughs> Nice job, Jim. Bringing us yeah. back in with some rush. Some rush. Gotta like that. Yeah, gotta like that. Welcome back to the Cheap Seats on 96.3 FM. We are at Joe Ryan Country Financial right in front of his building here. Beautiful Saturday morning. It's a beautiful day to buy what? Insurance. Uh, you could probably maybe be even able to get some uh, furniture. I don't know if that guy's out there or not, but where's Jake today? We don't know. But we do have a caller online. Uh, hopefully he has an answer for us for the trivia question. And uh, uh, who do we have online with us today? This is Rod. Hey, hey Rod. How are we doing this morning? Big Rod. Good. How are you guys? We're doing great. And you're calling. Do you have an answer for us? Who won the Masters? Yeah. Uh, Jordan Speed. Yep, you that is. And you just won a gift certificate or a gift card to Fifth Street Food Mart. And you can pick this up. Where you, you, drive, you can drive by. We'll run it right out to the car, yeah. Rod. What are you doing? Joe's going to have this with him. <laughs> so. right, if I don't get it today, I'll see him Monday. Yeah, or uh, maybe be gone. I, we don't know. You go out there and see Cliff. <laughs> maybe get some uh, gizzards get and Get a liver. bag of gizzards. Yeah. Heck yeah. Right. Good stuff out there. You know, hey, we just talked last night, Rod, about uh, the very first Farm Aid. About, oh, that was a great time. Yeah, Farm Aid. Yeah, How many years guys. that's been? <laughs> <laughs> Farm Aid was fun. The very first one, unbelievable. Yeah, that was a good time. They just talked about it. Talking about it. Try, try to think about who was there. Roy Ross and you. and that was Joe fun. Landis. Yeah, Landis. Fam another famous Lincolnite. Joey, yep. Joey Landis. But, yeah, the first Farm Aid was awesome. 
Yes, it was. And what is Farm Aid for those of us that don't know what Farm Aid is? How old are you? First Farm Aid, they had a, they had that big uh, 24-hour concert in, over Champaign down on the, on the football field. That's where a bunch of bands played. It was like, uh, uh, yeah. That's the first time uh, Eddie and Sammy played together, wasn't it? Yeah, it's the first time that Sammy Hager was announced as their new lead singer. They came out and sang, and Sammy said a bunch of foul language, and they had to cut yeah. him off TV. But a bunch of bands, you know, John Cougar was there, and... Uh, yeah, was, was that really, John really Cougar? Melon Johnny, Johnny. I think it was Johnny Cougar. Yeah, Neil was Young. Johnny Cougar back then lost the Melon Camp. Yep, he didn't have that Melon Camp. He lost, yet. He lost I remember though, it was all day long. We were kind of sitting around, and a bunch of these teenage girls went running by. Hundreds of them headed to the stage, and I remember I stopped one of them and said, "Hey, man, who's up?" And they said, "Bon Jovi," and they all went screaming off. And I remember we, the rest of us turned around. Bon Jovi? Who is that guy? He'd never been around right. before. That was his big big breakthrough i think Boy, that was a long time i think i was in junior high. Long, i don't know what year it'll be 85 yeah 1985 i think i was 10 or 12 i got a ride over there with somebody <laughs> <laughs> no 85 i was 12 so you were uh, probably a senior in college probably a little <laughs> probably was a 60 year senior in college then <laughs> uh, the, farm aid was awesome <laughs> sounds like a blast it was great it was fun. Then you've been living on a prayer ever since yeah, yeah. with Bon Jovi. Bon Jovi. Hey. All right. Well, hey, Rod. Thanks for calling in. Uh, yep. We appreciate it. And uh, what well, you got any plans today? Baseball? I'm anything? working. Oh, you're working. That's, that's you're always there. working. Yeah. You're always working, Rod. Nice job. <laughs> hey, uh, Tuesday, days off, man. Rod, the last time we talked to you, uh, you were still kind of deciding whether you're going to take the uh, plunge. Did you do it? Yeah, that didn't happen. It didn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame you. It's too cold. Too cold. Yeah. But uh, did uh, do you know what uh, kind of turnout they had? Did they have a good... Uh, oh, it was huge. I think they said over $50,000 was raised. Awesome. Good deal. Yeah, it was a good deal. Yeah. All right. Well, we look forward to another edition of it next year. Maybe we can get uh, Joe Ryan to... Take no, the you're probably not going to. So we're, we'll work on that. We got a year to do. All right, all right. Thanks, Rod. Yeah, See you, Rod. It's Rod Clark. He's a big winner. Pulled up, going to go out and see Cliff out at Fifth Street. Yeah, you know they have a lot of good stuff out there at Fifth Street. They uh, do. I always, I always commend him on the fact that that place is. It's always clean. Everybody is friendly. They, uh, it, it's. It's a great place to go. Something to that truth. I mean, they're av they're an advertiser with the, the radio station, and something that kind of just blows my mind is how much. Boy, we're just plugging Fifth Street right now, but uh, <laughs> how much th the lottery sells and the winnings from there. Yeah, there's a lot of lottery sales there, and the winnings from there. Yeah. More importantly, yeah, you got to. They're win. talking like two hundred fifty thousand dollars a month. Is that? Oh boy, I don't know. Is that true? That sounds like a lot, <laughs> Lloyd. Is that Lloyd, true? I don't know. We'd have to go to the archives. Jim, is that, that true? Yes. Yes. Hold on. That pay, they pay out two hundred and fifty thousand dollars a month. That's what the commercial says. Well, I should just hang out there then. But how much are they getting in though? You know, people are dumping in hundred dollars for tickets and then winning five. You know, I, I don't know, but that still sounds pretty good. Yeah, you know, that sounds high. That's high. Is it? Yeah. What you think? I don't. I don't know. That's why I'm asking. I don't know either. All right. I've got some. Phone calls coming in. What are we going to talk about now? Well, uh, something I want to mention. Uh, we got uh, a, a bowling team that just started up. Chester East Lincoln Junior High. They have a uh, a bowling, I guess the first year of the bowling team. And they uh, bowled yesterday at the Town and Country Lanes uh, for their very first tournament. Uh, they had a uh, four-man bowling team, which consisted of Blake Bryant, Nick Toft, Bryson Camp, and Tanner Stramp. Uh, their team placed 19th out of 42 teams. Wow. And Bryson and Tanner, they scored high enough to move on to bowl again today for singles. So that's pretty cool. Uh, first I've heard of a uh, a organized junior high bowling team. I know they have all kinds of bowling leagues out at the uh, Logan Lanes for, uh, you know, kids. But uh, I guess maybe some parents decided let's put a little team together and see what happens. So that's pretty exciting. Oh, that's awesome. You know, and again, we talk about Logan Lanes and 
a lot and we just had miss hasper on here but that place is awesome too and if you're gonna they can i'm sure those guys are letting them practice and do these kinds of stuff all the time out there so yeah. logan lane's again coming through for us i was never on a bowling team were you never well yeah back when i was in college but we won't talk about that that was just <laughs> it wasn't really a team it was just let's go bowl and right now we've got a better yeah. chance of looking like bowling balls you know what i mean I, yeah both of us both yeah well yeah. Not you. But anyway, uh, we'll keep track of that, and we'll have some more information. Uh, their first tournament of, I'm assuming, many. Uh, you know, I saw a picture on Facebook yesterday. It looks like they all have matching. you got to have matching bowling shirts. Oh, only way to do you it. Know? So that's pretty cool. So we'll keep tabs on them and get some more information out there. And who knows? Maybe that will just spark something else. Uh, you know, because I know there there are programs in high school for bowling teams, so maybe that if they draw enough interest, maybe that's something we can look for down the road. And I'm kind of surprised that it hasn't happened already. And if you want to get yourself in the mood to bowl, you can go out and rent the movie Kingpin. That'll get you ready to go. Yeah, that's one. That's one of the all-time greats. Is I've never seen it. You've never seen Kingpin? No. Nope. Man, we're you're a, a shell. Have you guys seen Kingpin? Well, Joe, I mean, we actually get out and do things sometimes. What? What are you, oh, do, putting Christmas tree lights up or taking them down? I didn't even it's put them up. It's the so. only thing you do. I No, not this year. I didn't even do that. Kingpin's an awesome show. Call us now and tell you, us your favorite you part about Kingpin. That's a great show, the yeah. The credits. You've got to go. Oh, you've got you've to rent that movie. <laughs> just I got it. Maybe I'll just do that today after I mow. You come mow my yard right after the show, and I'll watch Kingpin. No, I don't have a mower. Oh, I do. I, I don't like to borrow other people's stuff. You're using it. You're not borrowing it. But, yeah, that's pretty exciting. Uh, bowling. Bowling. Getting junior going. High bowling teams. So, yeah, we'll, we'll stay, uh, hopefully stay informed with that and see where that leads. Where are we leading to next? Well, people are probably wanting us to lead right off air. Well, that's uh, coming up. Uh, another thing is Emily Young is the coach. I just got that information. So if you have a team, you have to have a coach. So Emily, Emily Young is the coach of that squad, and, uh, you know, we'll see where that takes them. That's pretty exciting. That's something that I could I could be part of a bowling team, you know. You want to get a team together, Joe? <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Jo or Lloyd, do you bowl? You look like a bowler. Oh, okay. No. You look like a <laughs> texter. You can work that he's, phone. Yeah, he's. If there's Are a you team, gamer, no. Seems like he would be. Yeah, that looks, thumb action. He's, he, got he's a gamer, all right. Oh yeah, he's a gamer. He's a gamer. All right. Uh, where are we going? Uh, baseball in full swing. Uh, Chris Bryant made. Hey, you know what? That was a nice little pun you had there full in full swing, swing, if you will. It wasn't intended. It just kind of nice job. Yeah. Something intelligent did come off. You know. In full swing. In full swing. But uh, Chris Bryant made his uh, debut yesterday. Did it go the way he wanted it? No. 0 for 4 with some strikeouts. But it was exciting. Uh, Jim, he's he said the Cubs got hosed yesterday. <laughs> and that twice. Uh, the announcers were kind of baffled, too. They've never seen it where uh, you got two outs and two strikes on a batter. And... Uh, a strike that was obviously a strike was called a ball. The next pitch, home run. Well, then it happened again a few innings later, twice in a game. Right down the middle, called a ball. Next pitch, home run. Padres take a lead and end so of story. I didn't see any of that. But I didn't see it. I listened to it. And, and when Jim mentions it when we come in, I know it has to be pretty bad because he's an avid Cardinal fan and – when he sees something and thinks it's wrong, then it's wrong. And with that loss, uh, would that move the Cubs then out of first place? Yeah, they move down to second. Who would go into first? That's St. Louis, but it's <laughs> still early, you know. You guys didn't tell me you were wearing you, your gear today. I think uh, Cubs cards. I was told to wear Cubs gear last week or two weeks ago. We didn't have a show. and uh, But what was I going to say? Oh, Who? I think you said that the Cubs will never be in first place this year. And uh, it, they already have. So I think we had a pretty high wager on that. <laughs> what, I, what I said was that will probably be their only appearance. Don't you think now they start to slide? No, not at all. Cardinals have won three in a row. Cubs are starting to lose. Here we go. No, it's still young. Uh, season's still young, and it's exciting. Uh, so we'll, we'll see. We'll see how he bounces Morning. back today. 
How are your Cardinals doing? You said they won three in a row. Won three in a row. They're six and three. Ooh, whoopee. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Six. How the Phillies doing, Lloyd? I, I really don't even know. I'm not even – don't even know. I'm not trying – uh, They've streak. lost six in a row, Lloyd. I really – I Lloyd, I promise I didn't know. I really didn't know. I'm not just trying to rub it in. Six in a row. Is Larry Boa still playing shortstop? <laughs> well, there you go. What was his all-time uh, batting average? What did he quit with, like 208? So it wasn't less than he weighs. It was – yeah, you put all the weight when you're a baseball manager, don't you? Hey, uh, they've lost six in a row, three and eight. Who's the hottest team out there? New York Mets. Unfortunately, the same division, huh? Won six in a row. They're on a row. They'll come back down to earth. I mean, it's all going to play out, you know. It, it's and our worst team in baseball, well. Feels like we're at Bush Stadium or Wrigley right now. With the Jets flying across the... Surprisingly, Milwaukee, two and eight. Yeah, and they've lost three in a row. Four and a half game, four and a half games back. You don't want to get that far back here early. You know what I mean? That's Cub territory. They'll hang around till July, won't they? Who? The Cubs. They're well, going to be there till the end, Joseph. All right. This is their year. Their new manager and all that new stuff. New manager. We got a young squad. They're learning the ropes. Now, the only thing that's going to prevent the Cubs from making it to World Series, and that's the umpiring. <laughs> Here we go with the umpiring. <laughs> if they keep pulling that nonsense that they did yesterday, you know, we just got too much. Inf we can't overcome that. No. I mean, that's just, you know, we can't. Well, we're, I'd have to I'd like to see these pitches, but are they... I didn't see him. I don't right know. down the pipe. I listened to it on the radio, and Jim mentioned it right when I walked up, so I knew it must have been must have been something. You know, I did miss somebody that's off to a worse start. Looks like the Giants have lost eight in a row. <laughs> They'll put bags over their heads out there pretty soon. Eight in a row. Wow. Eight in a row. That's, I don't know how that happens. Well, you don't have enough runs to beat the other team eight times. In a row? In a row. Oh, good, that's how eight, good. Yeah, that's how that happens. Wow. He is Martin. <laughs> uh, just kind of looking through the other standings. You know, a team that, that people thought, let's just, you know, they're not going to do anything. Atlanta. You know, they cleaned house. They, they traded their pitcher on opening day to the Padres. Uh, they traded the Upton boys, and they traded uh, Hayward to St. Louis. So that was a team that, and once again, it's still early. You know, people are like, well, they aren't doing anything. They're leading the National League East right now. Oh, well, they're tied with the, the Mets. But, uh, you know, so anything can happen. Anything can happen. It's a long season. It is a long season. Unfortunately. Almost too long, don't you yeah. think? I, I, I think it is. You Eliminate know. about 20 games. Let's end it in, you know, September. Why drag it on till October? Yeah, they should shorten the season, I think. And then maybe let the NBA play four more weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Have the no. NBA championship no. game be on July 4th would be. <laughs> it's it's almost think. there. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's amazing <laughs> how long that goes. So it's like never ending. And, you know, you just forget it's even going on, and all of a sudden yeah. there's an NBA game, and you're going, oh, still, wow, it's still like play. 110 degrees out, and they're playing basketball. Well, it's the same way with hockey, you know. Well, let's talk hockey. You got? Do you have some words of wisdom for me? I got some words. I don't know how wise they are. Uh, the Blackhawks right now, they're uh, they're in a series, uh, first round of playoffs with the Nashville Predators. Uh, first game, boy, the first period, National comes out three to nothing. I'm like, well, this is not going to be good. Blackhawks come out second period. They score three goals, go to three to three. It uh, goes into double overtime. Blackhawks pull that out. And then last night, I don't know what happened. It was two to two, and then then it, all of a sudden it's six to two, Nashville. Wow! And Lloyd's laughing. Corey Crawford. Uh, it's about time to put him on the bench and put Darling in there. Well, you know what? It's got to be hard on that team to get beat like that. Don't yeah, you think, Lloyd? Absolutely. Yeah, it's got to be is. hard on the team. <laughs> You, I can't even read this, Lloyd. Whatever you're sending, it's too it's, dark. It's a bag of air. Well, you got to take those shades off so you can see it, Daryl. 
The, oh, uh, J- Jake, which we'll, we'll put the phone here, pretend it's Jake. He's texting in saying what? Kansas City Royals are the hottest team. That's which, that's true. You know, you get to the seventh, eighth, and ninth inning with Kansas City, uh, you might as well. And if you're down, that's a loss. That bullpen is amazing. Yeah, can't, they'll be back, yeah. They're, they're good. I don't, I, they, I don't know. I didn't look at are they the hottest team because they've won the most games? I don't know, but you, you got to get right these here? texts quicker because we were on hockey. Now we're back to baseball. I think you brought it up. Well, because I got a text. Not me. Always going like this. Yeah, it's hard out here in the sunlight. It's hard on your you can't eyes. can't read. Yes, you can't. But, hey, let's take another commercial break, get some of our sponsors mentioned, because without them, this fine program wouldn't yeah. be possible. We come back. we got the NBA draft or NFL draft coming up here in yeah, the two NBA, weeks. they got a draft, well, too, during the season? <laughs> it's nonstop. <laughs> uh, NFL draft coming up in Chicago here in uh, about, what, two weeks, week yeah. and a half? So yes, that's exciting. Lloyd says. A lot of mock drafts out there right now. Who's going to go where? Who's going to do what? But uh, nobody knows, obviously, until the day. And we'll talk some NBA playoffs. The Chicago Bulls, that's going to be kicking off here uh, soon. Maybe today? When, when did the NBA playoffs start? I don't know. We know when they end, but we just don't know when they start. But uh, stay tuned. You're in the cheap seats on 96.3. And that's bringing it back. And we're back. Wow. I cannot wow. take this rubbish anymore. Look who decided it, to show yeah, up. No it's what in the world? Doug because Jake. he wants some food. Showed yeah, up. actually, I came for the sausage. Yeah. You like sausage? <laughs> I like the sausage. You ever seen Kingpin? Uh, yes. That's a, one of the funniest shows ever, Kingpin. Uh, it's there. It's Apparently good. not. It's Maybe. good. I mean, I'm not saying He's, it's a funny show when, ever. Whenever Jake goes, uh, yeah, uh, he does no. that all the time. Uh, Maybe. It's a very humorous show. And we're back. Good morning, gentlemen. Hey, nice to see you. I had a lot of things going on today. Some exciting things going on in my world. You do, and you got the, uh, what we got going on today? Oh, we got the March of Dimes, uh, up uh, big walk in uh, Bloomington, Illinois, out at the Joomers Hotel. We're meeting out there here in about uh, 45 minutes. I'm going to be heading directly from here to there, uh, where our team, uh, Team Maddox, will be uh, turning in our check. And over the course of, I believe we've been doing it for six years now, we will have earned over $100,000. Wow. So we'll be turning in that check today. We have been uh, the number one uh, team at this function for the last for every year since we've been in it. So it's it's a pretty exciting deal for me and our group. It's uh, one of Jake's furnishings. Uh, big uh, big things that we donate money to and try to stay involved with. And uh, I'm very proud to be a part of this team. So very excited about today. Absolutely, nice job. You got any? You said. Didn't you text in that the Royals are the hottest team in baseball? The Royals are the hottest. I mean, they are red hot, man. I mean, you can't right now. You can't beat them if they get to the sixth inning. They turn over that bullpen. It's lights out. They be they're they're stomping everybody. Last night was the closest thing uh, they could have came to to a loss. Yesterday, the team came back and tied it in the sixth with a home run. They brought it in, in the seventh, and it was done. <laughs> they, they shut it down. I think they ended up winning six to four last night. So, right. real good baseball to watch right now. A lot of fun teams to watch right now too. I mean, uh, your Chicago Cubs. You're, you guys are pretty proud of them, and you know you have reasons to be. That you got the young kids playing. They're fun to watch right now. Some exciting baseball. Uh, I think uh, Lloyd had a had a had a bag of wind he caught last night from uh, your Chris Bryant's hey. uh, swing and misses. But hey. You know, That's, you're gonna have. Have you a few ever of tried those. that to catch wind in a bag? It's hard to do. He he. Uh, from what I understand, and, and uh, from the Chicago yesterday, it wasn't that difficult. Well, I tell you, when he starts connecting, <laughs> he, I tell he, you what, I, th- I think I, he's gonna be a good. Yeah. He's gonna be a good you know, player. He, you come and, in. And, and and he talked after the game even, and, and it was exciting to hear him talk. How he's like, hey, I'm gonna strike out. I'm gonna get out. I'm gonna get mine too. So, but he does you know. hit for high average too, and you we'll know, see, it, it, this your, is Major League Baseball, my friend. I know. Major League Baseball is hey. not Triple A. It almost there's a big no. There's a big difference, and there's a cliff you fall off of from there. Well, so, <laughs> we'll see. There, there's career 300, 350 Triple A batters that get to the major leagues and can't even hit a buck. So, yeah, that's I'm, a fact, Jack. Yeah, there you go. I like. Don't that. you have somewhere to be? 
I'm, I'm going to be heading he there came, soon. He hey, came I, in strong. Like I, said, with I that. could I could not listen to this anymore. I had to stop in. Oh my god. <laughs> well, you know. We try. <laughs> this is good radio yeah. as always, guys. Uh, we do have some uh, playoff basketball we probably playoffs? should mention. Uh, playoffs? Start today. Start last night. Start today. I think. Well, no, it was <laughs> last night. I keep forgetting. <laughs> we got the USA today. It's always a day it's behind. It's a day behind. <laughs> Gosh. There's a Bear fan right here. Go Bears. I'm not even going to hit that this subject because now I'm off. <laughs> what anyway, subject were you going to hit? we got Washington at Toronto, New Orleans at Golden State, Milwaukee at Chicago, Dallas at Houston, Boston at Cleveland, Brooklyn and Atlanta, Portland at Memphis, San Antonio at the Clippers. And how hot. I mean, if you're paying attention to NBA basketball, you have to like what the Atlanta Hawks have been doing, Golden State Warriors. Both those teams just unbelievably yeah. talented. And neither team was what – at the beginning of the year, nobody was picking them to be at the top of the heap. You no, know? well, you got Golden State. You got Seth Curry, who's probably one of the best shooters – MVP probably? Ever, – Ever seen. I, I don't see why not. I'm thinking MVP. You know, depending on how far they had advanced through the playoffs, that probably has something to do with it. But – uh he, he's just an all-around shooter, and you remember back when he was with Davidson, the run he made in the mm-hmm. the tournament. And oh yeah, boy, he's just not a very big kid, but man, he can shoot the lights oh, and out. Gr- and, and great passer, floor general. I mean, he's good defensive guy. He's he's the whole package, man. He's fun to watch. You don't watch much basketball, do you? NBA. Uh, I as much as I can. You know, it's baseball season. Yeah, and I, I don't really, and obviously because I only know when they're playing. I'll, well, I'll follow the Bulls, but uh, that's about it. But it's nice to see some of these teams. You don't see the, the Lakers, and you don't see, uh, you know, the teams that you always see. Obviously, the Spurs are going to be there. Yep, Spurs are going to uh, be there, you know, absolutely. But y- yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, <laughs> you know what you're talking about. <laughs> exactly right. Yes. When do you get hecklers? That's funny. <laughs> hey, I'm just happy people <laughs> stopped pulled buying. Pulled up on a bike and was right on top of us. Right I like on top it. Of it. That's what we like. That's what we like. People talking to us. Where were we? Oh, well, gentlemen, honestly, I, I have to go. I've got to get back to uh, the real world. Well, I, I don't even think you even needed to stop by. What no, world I, are you I, in? I think you need me to stop. <laughs> I, actually, I, I was giving text messages saying I need to come intervene. So, Absolutely. Must have been Lloyd because he's over there. <laughs> Look at him. Work that. He's still on it. The Work tweet is well. on. The tweet is on. The tweet is on. Tweet it's on the street. Is on. Gentlemen, thank you All very right. much. But, yeah, Team Maddox, very proud today. Hundred thousand dollars raised, oh, man. Out of boy, uh, you're the nice man. Job. It's a big deal. That's good. So, I appreciate you guys. Thank you very much. <laughs> there it is. There you go. Hit the road. Hit good. the road, Jake. Jake. Good day. See you, buddy. Hey, we had, we had a guest appearance by Jake. Yeah. Something else. He had to have a time. We'd had a photo op in yeah. that brand new truck he's driving I over know. there. Hey, you know, before uh, let's jump to this NFL draft before we get out of here. Who is going to take – Who the, the Tampa Bay, obviously, number one pick. Yeah. They're not going to trade that away. W- what are they going to do because – you? Th- I don't – you know, Jameson is the one to take, but now all this other stuff's came up. What, what are they going to – what do you get? What do you think? What do you think about all that? I, it's just so hard to predict. You got so many different mock drafts out there. What people are going to do? We don't know what's going on behind closed doors. Tampa Bay, they could trade that number one pick away. Drop down eight or nine spots. Uh, that other QB is making a rise. I can't think of his name right now, obviously, but uh, they're talking that he's been impressive. Not Mariota. There's another one, Pratt or. Something like that. I want to go. Let's go back to Mariota a second. Uh, Mariota, his stock is rising. Uh, is Jamison's the? He's a quarterback that's ready for the NFL right now. Absolutely. With his size, his his arm strength. The only thing that's holding him back is his off the field antics. You don't know how he's going to respond when he gets that big money. Uh, you know, he's done some really stupid, very things. questionable character. Exactly. And when you when you're getting paid, and you have that money, you feel you feel 
Well, like, you know, you can. How do you feel? How do you feel? Yeah, we wouldn't know. You're on top of the world. Well, ask Aaron Hernandez. <laughs> yeah. well, how's he feel right now? You know, he thought he was indestructible, could get away with anything. Yeah. Now he's spending the rest of his life in prison. But once you get that money, I hear, you know, you just. Uh, yeah, we you, hear that. Yeah, we yeah. hear that. I would like to be in that Saw position. it on the internet. Yeah. I've been told that once you get money, you just. Well, the other, you know. to me, the other big question out there is Mariota of. Is you know is Chip Kelly going to make a, a deal to get Mariota? I don't know that he can. With but once again, we don't know why they just made that trade. They trade for Sam Bradford. You yeah. know they get rid of well, and there's the you mean Cobb. We talked about yesterday that we think you know that uh, that the uh, Titans want him. They want who? Mariota? No, they, they want, want Bradford. They're going to trade their pick. They'll get Bradford, and these guys, if Philadelphia will move up to the second pick, and they're going to take Mariota, and it's going to put Kelly and Mariota back together, and it, which would be interesting, you know. I mean, everybody wants a storyline, but That'd be kind of interesting. I'm not sold on Mariota being a pro quarterback, I'm not but even. I love his character. He's everything you'd like, you know, yeah. Jameson to be. Exactly. He, he is that guy. Mariota is athletic, but we've seen what athletic quarterbacks what happened to them, you know, the second. Their second season in. Look at uh, Robert Griffith. The you know. Oh, absolutely. You yeah. know, his first year he tore up the NFL, and they're like, "Oh man, this guy's going to be good." One hit, and he's done. You know, he's just kind of an afterthought right now. And you can't abuse your quarterback no. like that. You can't let him take those hits. No. You can't let him run. You know, run zone reads every day and get hit by yeah. these these DBs and and linebackers in the NFL. You just can't do that. You're yeah. gonna, you'll get torn up. So, I don't know that Mariota is a. I don't know that he's a quarterback in the NFL. I don't either, and that's why we do cheap seats, and we're not the scouts or the the GMs and the people that make the big decisions. But it only takes one off the wall move at the NFL draft, and everything just kind of blows up. You know, you got guys thinking that they're going to be a top five pick. Something crazy happens, and they're sitting down there, twenty eight, twenty nine, sweating bullets, thinking, "Am I even going to go in the first round?" So it's just kind of. It's so hard to predict, and people out there try to do it. Mel Kuyper and Blaylock, and there's all kinds of mock drafts out there that they put together. It's what are the Bears going to do? I don't know what the Bears are going to do. Uh, you know, then you hear, well, they may trade Cutler to San Diego. We might get uh, Phillip Rivers. Well, I love that, <laughs> but I don't see that happening. Uh, it's just you don't know. I didn't used to every, like Rivers, but you know he was such a baby and whined all the time. But you know he can play he gets quarterback. It done. Yeah, he's he. Does, I like him now. I like to watch him play. I think that somebody ought to jump out there and get that Gurley from Georgia. I think he's a good running back and, and Gurley? running backs. Gurley. Yeah, that's oh, Gurley. that's his name. Yeah. Oh, I thought you were saying. It's what people used to call Gurley. it. It's what people used to say about you. You were a little girly, but way. Well, hey. um, they're spelled differently. This is with a U. Oh, girly. okay. Well, all right. You I are got girly. You, you girly. This is girly. Come here, girly man. <laughs> You're a girly man. But uh, I don't know. I, I, have we got our credentials yet to go? I think we're still waiting on it. I, I think Jim and Jeff just keep pointing at each other. One of them's got. I don't understand who's got the. We haven't seen anything. That could really boost this program if we were at the NFL draft. Yeah, I'm, I, I would call off sick from work. You would yep. just take off work because you're the boss. Yeah. But, yeah. But the doors would be open. You guys get in and out of here. Let's write apps. You know, uh, the other running back out there from Wisconsin is that Melvin Gordon. Yeah. And he's a stud, too. He's a stud, but running backs, they don't go they don't go in first round anymore. Running backs, you can get a good running back third, fourth round because True. they're, they're – I think Expendable. both those guys. I think both those guys go in the first round. You think? Okay. This year, there's my prediction. You heard it here first. I don't think two running backs are going first round. Yeah, I think both those guys will. Maybe one. You need that back. You know that Gordon. Um, Gordon is that back. You need. You need defensive ends. You need linebackers. You need cornerbacks. <laughs> you need receivers. You don't necessarily need a running. Do you need back. a kicker? Not first round, you don't. No. Well, not in the first round, but obviously well, you we're talking kicker. first round. Uh, had some old linemen going there too. Yeah, old linemen. I don't know. It, it's going to be interesting. I'm pretty excited about it. Be really excited about it if we had credentials to be there. So let's say that 
you are sitting at that table and you're Tampa Bay. Obviously, they need a quarterback. You're going to take Winston you're, or no? You got to take Winston. You, you have, have to. You're going to take him anyway and fight all the background. You're going to. You're going to have to take that chance. You need an elite quarterback, and if he pans out, if he grows up, if he matures real quick, then you have to. Yeah. Unless you're going to trade down and you're going to get a solid quarterback in return, which isn't going to happen, you know. Yeah. I don't know. I couldn't take him. I, would, I wouldn't take his problems. And, and I, from what he's done and then have everyone well, try to help you and he still stiff arms all of it, I don't think you can take a chance on him. Although that's not the way they look at it. The NFL the way looks they at it. Look they get one it, year out of him and they're, they they're, get he, to a Super he's Bowl. He's going to put fans in the stands. Yeah, he's good. And, you know, they'll just have to deal with his, hopefully get him straightened out with his off-the-field Nonsense. Yeah, it just sets set such a bad light for young athletes that you can just do anything. And but it's the NFL. I know. Well, it's, it's about all winning. It's about money. It's about marketing. And they're going to market the crap out of him. I don't know if they can market him. They will. <laughs> they will. Tampa Bay will. There'll be Winston jerseys everywhere. Yeah, but he better not do any right? commercials. What can he do? What can he do a commercial for? Winston. May he could do. A, he could do a commercial <laughs> for lawyers. You know what I mean? Yeah. He, that's all that guy's going to need once he gets you, the NFL as a lawyer. You want to pull a Winston, call 1-800-LAWYER-FOR-FREE. Yeah. <laughs> or he could do Winston cigarettes, I guess. He like, yeah, I just said that. If you're nice. listening. Which they don't advertise much anymore. No, because nobody smokes anymore. No, it's not good for you. It says right on the pack. Yeah. But, uh, man. We're about out of time. We are. Get your Duke Blue Devil hats, too. Yeah, that's Rainy something that chance. we never really had a chance to really talk about. But that's that, that's like old news. We talked a little bit about last week. Lloyd was there. Those guys leaving is big news. Yeah. You Winslow. Oak I didn't think Winslow would go. But, I mean, Oakford, he had to. But Winslow, I didn't think he would. And who's the other one that went? Uh, Titus Jones. And look at North Carolina. They had seven yeah. guys. Well, they'll just regroup and or not North not Carolina, North, Kentucky. Kentucky, yeah. North Carolina had a couple guys. You can't there. even start on your college team, but you're going to the NBA draft. Yeah, it's crazy. It's funny. Yeah, it's funny how things work out. We've worked out to getting that bell. And look at Jim, already ready. He's, to go. Already He's unplugging plugging. things. He's got his fingers on the plug. All right, that's gonna do it for us. Uh, next week we're at Jake's. Don't know if he'll be there. Do we have a I key like to get in? <laughs> we'll be out front on the back oh, of the yeah. pickup truck. Yeah, we'll be out front. Well, I might have to bring a generator for power, but we'll be there. If it was for pickup trucks, there'd be no tailgating, right? <laughs> yep. Thanks to Hampton Inn for supplying uh, muffins and pastries and sausage and omelets and coffee. In the USA Today. USA Today. And then uh, always check us out on Channel 5 for all of our broadcasts. Like, thank you for tuning in. It's going to do it for us. Cheap Seats on I6.3 FM. Good day. <laughs>